Um, this is also on the west coast of Guam, and uh, this is a obviously a, a construction site. Um, but look at the scope and the size of this, um, and this is just one of the valleys that they're working on. Uh, this is all going to be new solar um, panels. They are, you can see, some of them are already installed dark areas are down there uh, and I'm not sure what these buildings are for except they're probably part of the, um, uh, the whole generation plant that's going on this is a uh, quite a quite a valley between uh, the hills um, somebody has a house way up up there and this looks like a they're probably not too happy with the view they're gonna get um, but uh, it's a beautiful valley and, uh, and solar is something that we really need so um, it's pretty cool that it's happening. I'm not sure what to what degree this is going to replace the conventional means that they have. Um, most of the power on Guam is produced by uh, burning uh, um, fuel oil uh, and uh, so this is a welcome thing. The company is actually Fitchner, which is a, um, a German company uh, that designed this, and they're in conjunction here with Samsung. Let's see if I can show you a sign for that. Pretty amazing. So here is that same area um, that I just shot from one side. And this is from another side. And here you can see a little better some of the solar panels. Uh, this is a pretty extensive project just on this side. But on the other side of these woods to the right, there is another whole valley of these that's being installed. exciting than watching paint dry but not quite too much. It's a sun. Okay, so here is the second valley. I don't think there's a third right now, uh, but here you can see another solar plant. is a significant project. And out there is the uh, western side of the island. This is the, looking at the Pacific. Uh, it's a long ways from out there to anywhere. Um, the other side of the island is the Philippines. Again, it's a Sunday, so there isn't much going on today. 